Good evening. I feel like my face is flushed. I don't know. I feel like I haven't done a Facebook Live in a while, so I'm nervous. Um, but I'm excited to talk to you guys. Um, what's been on my heart is to talk about skin. I know with summer coming, we're exposed to lots of sun. And that is a blessing, right? We love our spring and our sunshine. But also, it can be quite a challenge for our bodies. So tonight, that's what I'm going to chat with you about. So I don't know if many of you know that our largest organ really is our skin. And most that is exposed on a daily basis, our, our skin's exposed on a daily basis, but mostly our face. So I'm gonna highlight a lot of things that will be talked about, you know, about skin and how we can take care of our face. Now I'm not a pro, cause let me tell you, my mom was an Avon lady and I never took, shh, I never took care of my skin. I didn't wash my face at night. I didn't take my makeup off. I was kind of like naughty, never did anything. And I was very blessed to not have any skin problems. But I know as I started aging, I wanna keep my face more youthful. So that is what I'm gonna talk about, how we can all make our faces more youthful. So as I said, it's the largest um, organ of our body and it also takes 26 seconds for what we, um, for what many chemicals and toxins we're exposed to on a daily, oh, sorry. It takes 26 seconds for what we put on our skin to absorb into our bloodstream and begin circulating through our body. So that, you think about what you're putting on your body, what lotions you're putting on, what deodorants, what makeup, what moisturizers, what your shampoos, conditioners, all of that you're putting on your skin, all your laundry soap, all of that. And we also need to minimize our exposure and replace those chemicals, those chemicals that are harmful to us with ones that are good for us. So there's a couple, well, there's lots of info on skin that we can learn about, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about the lifestyle. So skin doesn't magically, every, pretty much our skin represents what's going on really on the inside of us. So really they talk about, you know, lessening your sugar, um, eating fruits and vegetables, healthy fats, um, fermented foods. I'm not a fan of fermented foods, so I like to take my probiotic, um, lots of good healthy proteins. Um, also when you're in the sun, make sure that you're giving protection for your skin and also um, applying moisturizer after you've been in the sun. Um, another thing that, I'm not gonna go through every oil, there's a ton of oils that I've used on my face that I absolutely love. Some of my ultimate favorites are frankincense, lavender, and cedarwood. Those are my go-tos like all the time. Peppermint is another good one for skin. Myrrh, geranium, cedarwood, patchouli, melrose, German chamomile, elemi. If you guys don't have elemi, we call it the poor man's, um, Poor man frankincense. Ah, poor man's um, frankincense is what it, we call it. Endoflex is really good for your endocrine system, um, which helps with your skin. Um, thieves and purification. So these are all great ones, and there's so many more. I'm going to challenge you just to type in the word skin and young living. You will find tons of information out there. If you're into DIY stuff, you can do that as well, and it'll give you tons of information out there. You can also go onto our Oils and More site. And same thing, you can type in skin, um, hair, and you'll start finding what we've posted because our team has been around since 2015. Now, what are some nutrition things that you could be doing? Hands down, number one, here we go. Ningxia Red, bring it on, right? Um, take this on a daily basis. And why is Ninja Red um, so important? It has high amounts of vitamin A in it, um, which helps renew your skin cells, which is important and vitamin C, which is, assists in producing collagen, which is going to help have firm, healthy skin. So Ningxia Red take every day, even if it's an ounce, half an ounce, just get it in your body. Um, another one is Life Nine. So like I said, fermented foods, if you're not into fermented foods, Life Nine, everyone should be taking this every night. Do I forget to take it at nighttime? Yes, so I take it in the morning. <laughs> Do your best. Let's be real. I mean, I'm human too, and I forget as well, but Life Nine, is good for your gut health. So this is an awesome one to take on a daily basis. What does Life9 do? If you know um, a lot of the antibiotics, the birth controls, and other drugs um, and chemicals um, destroy the benefit of your gut bacteria. So that's why you constantly need to be replenishing um, and helping have proper gut bacteria. If our gut is not healthy, most of the time you'll start seeing it with skin issues. Um, 
so you can ask yourself, you know, am I having skin problems? Okay, I need to look at my gut. What can I do to help support my gut? Um, another one, we talk a lot about this on our team. There's sulfurzyme capsules, which I'm out of right now, and sulfurzyme powder. Um, what's so amazing that, about that for taking for your skin? It has MSM in it and also the Ningxia wolfberry, which I said has awesome vitamin A and vitamin C in it. Um, this is responsible for the flexible bond between the cells of the body, um, which includes those between the layers of the skin. So you're gonna have a more youthful skin. It's gonna help support your skin um, when you start taking your sulfurzyme. So add that to your regular. You can share in the comment section as well for that. Um, another one, I, I can't even go through every product that Young Living has, but what I'm gonna challenge you, where's my book, is to go through your product guide and get familiar or go online to the product guide. Get familiar with the section personal care. You will find so many things that are great for your skin. Okay. And then um, another one, I already told you about frankincense and why frankincense. I always tell people when in doubt, go for frankincense. Seriously. It's like the best stuff ever. This is some sacred frankincense, but I love them both. I use them all the time, put them in the diffuser, put them on my face. I love this stuff. But it supports healing. Um, the monoterpenes, the primary monoterpenes that are in frankincense supports the healing and regeneration. So that's why we always tell people, go for your frankincense. Make sure you always have that on hand. And a lot of times people are like, why endoflex? That's endocrine system. That's good for energy. Well, again, if you know about the endocrine system and the reproductive system, those hormones influence the function of our skin and our hair. So when you're off in that area, you might notice, hey, I need some help in that area. So with that, a lot of times I tell people, I'm like, okay, people are like, well, how, what products to use? Like I said, I've never taken care of my skin. I'll be honest. I've been a member for five years of Young Living, didn't get into Young Living for um, skincare. I actually got into it for um, emotions, um, you know, emotional support. But with this one, I learned a year later, I went to a beauty school that Shannon Hudson had, who's about two hours away from Kalamazoo area. And she did a beauty school. And so that's when I start, started learning about, oh my gosh, I should take care of my skin. And then I went to beauty school last Dece uh, December 17th. Uh, no, December 2017. So a year and a half ago. I went in Utah and had the experience to even learn more about how to take care of my care, take care of my my skin and how to help. So I'm here to help you learn about some of the products that Young Living has. I could be here all night talking about these products and taking care of your skin. But just to be really careful on, and you know, it's kind of like us women when we get a zit, or you can see I got this. Yeah, there it is. There's a zit. Um, I usually don't get them very often, and then we're like, oh, it's a bad day, or oh, don't look there, or if you have something on your nose, like we just get so, um, it's a bad day when our skin is has an issue. So it's amazing that we have Young Living products to help us um, with having a better day. So with that, I'm going to, why would I choose Young Living over any other product? Number one, it has pure products. It has, I would say, way above and beyond organic, just because... Um, of the process that they do that and their standards are so high. Then on top of that, they have integrity for every single one of their products. Um, many of you may already know that you need to wash your face, right? So what products does Young Living have to wash your face on a daily basis? Now let's be real. They say to do it morning and at night and I do it morning. So there you go. You can do whatever you want. You guys are probably better about it than I am. But there is the Orange Blossom face wash that you can use. This is new from Convention. You also have, so I love this one, but actually my daughters are using it more than I am. I did not like this one, the art line. The best bang for your buck is to get the art line. It comes in a, a package of three. This is what I first bought. This gentle um, cleanser is amazing to wash your face. And all you have to do is put a little in your hand. I keep everything in the shower or I won't do it, you guys. I have to have it in the shower. Just put a little bit of the gentle cleanser. This one smells like frankincense and that's why I love it so much. Then just wash your face. Now you wanna work against gravity, okay? Gravity's pulling our face down. You need to work up and gentle, okay? Up and gentle. And then we also have, yeah, these are the two main ones. Face wash or you can make your own. Okay, so first you gotta wash your face. Get off all that gunk off of your skin. Now my secret is you guys can share in the comments how you do it. I keep mine in the shower. You can keep it however you want. Some people keep it on their counter. Whatever works best for you to remind you to do this on a consistent basis, okay, daily basis. Then after you do step two, um, you do the toner. 
and the toner helps your pores look smaller. I was like, whatever, I'm so not gonna do this. Well, you guys, it's true. My pores on my nose looked so big and I faithfully use this toner and it's really true. All I do is take a cotton ball, dip it this way and I just work upward and I'll be honest, you're supposed to do this every day. I probably, probably four out of the seven days I do. So I'm gonna be real with you, but this is um, another great one to help with that. Then, and this is for everybody on a daily basis to take care of their skin. Then you have, I just posted this earlier today. They just asked anybody who um, bought this after February 1st of 2019, which I bought this at convention, so I'm not um, worried about it. They just asked it to be cautious and stop for right now. But this one is so amazing. I love the smell of it. And this is another moisturizer. So after you tone your face, you wanna give a moisturizer. But before that, you can put on a serum. This is like, Heavenly serum, heavenly. This is amazing. You only need a little bit. It smells like orchids. You guys, it's like happiness in a bottle, seriously. Take a little bit, rub it, work against gravity, up, 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 upward, and then you can get on your necks and also on your hands. Your hands see the sun and get exposed all the time. So it's another great one. I don't use this one on a daily basis. I like this one in the way it glides, this serum right here. Then you put the moisturizer on. There's tons of moisturizers. You may have dry skin. You may have oily skin. You may have normal skin. Maybe you have dry oily skin combo. There's different ones for different people. And of course, if you just out of like touching it, if it's a thicker one, you know that that's probably for people more with dry skin. Um, and so it's trial and error as well, but there are some labels and the, all of them have labels on it in Young Living that says for dry skin or for oily skin to help with that. Um, and then also like if you have a normal skin, I like, um, it comes with the set of this, but I ran out and I don't have the container, but it's the Art Light Moisturizer. This is a great one to use on a daily basis for oily skin, for normal to dry skin is a great one. I love this one, you guys. I have pretty much normal skin. This is a great one for your moisturizer where you squeeze it out, pump it, same thing, moisturize on a daily basis. And I'll be real again, probably four out of the seven days I do this on a regular basis, but I do it, so at least I'm getting some in. You know, it's better than nothing. Then our beloved uh, Sheer Lume is amazing. Um, I love this stuff, it just came back in stock. You can buy this on quick order. This is a great one to use at nighttime. Um, a lot of people like to use this as more of a deep, you know, condition, you know, moisturizer at nighttime, especially in the winter time. I love using this. In the summer, I don't as much, but it's a little bit thicker. The smell is amazing. That's another one that I use. Now, um, I wanted to just remind you that everything we breathe, everything that we drink and eat and apply to our skin is absorbed into our body. So everything that we're doing, Young Living has so many other things for skin, but um, I'm just gonna touch on a few of them so you guys know. There's tons of different body lotions that you can put all over your skin. Uh, this one's my favorite. Everyone has their favorite, but I love the lavender. I do this one right after the shower and pretty faithfully with that. So some people who have super dry skin, don't be afraid of using the animal ointment. I was like, what? But don't be afraid of using this. This stuff is awesome if you have any kind of dry skin. Um, I also like to use it on my cuticles as well to soften it right here at nighttime. I probably do this about twice a week. You can do that with the rose ointment as well. Okay, so there's another great one. And Young Living doesn't forget about our lips. Take, give in some love on your lips. They've got the lip scrub, and I do this once a week. It's the lip scrub that you take it and just kind of exfoliate your lips and give it some love. Um, they also have, I told you, the rose ointment. If you have some areas of skin issues that you may have any parts of your body, you can do that on your elbows, on maybe your heels. You have extra attention that you need to give um, for the parts that are cracked or super dry or need some extra love. That's another great one. Um, they didn't. There's all different kinds of lip balms you can use too for your skin, for your lips. I used to be in love with cinnamon. Now I'm in love with lavender. So I changed too with that. They also have... I'm in love with this stuff. Don't be afraid to use the baby products, you guys. The Seedlings line is awesome. These are two that I love to put on after the shower. More massage oils to moisturize your skin so you don't have to be afraid of anything that Young Living um, gives us that it's not toxic and they're harm-free for us and they're actually beneficial for our bodies. Then you have the Seedlings Lotion that will be great for your skin. And people who are more sensitive may turn to this better because it's good for sensitive skin. Okay, they didn't forget about our feet, you guys. So this is part of our skin as well. I use this once a week. 
Um, I have my routine on Saturdays to use my foot and my lip um, scrub. Those are great ones that Young Living didn't forget about, but these are other moisturizers for your full body, not for your face, because I kind of went over through your face. And if you're not into buying Young Living and you would rather, um, like their products already pre-made, which hands down, I believe that whatever they do is the top notch. They've mastered it. They've done the science behind it. They've done the research about it. They've put all the money into it that I trust all their product. I used to make my stuff and now I just buy all theirs because it's so amazing. But you can make your own body wash. That's another great one too. Hey, Lori. Um, don't forget about those bath bombs. Um, the lavender is so moisturizing for your skin. It's relaxing as well. So all of these things have essential oils in them, you guys. So it's good for moisturizing your skin, but also helping your body emotionally. Aren't we all emotional beings? So it's another great thing um, to do. Now, I'm challenging you to be good um, agents of your own body. You've been blessed with one body and to take care of it. So go to ewg.org, learn about your makeup. And I didn't even talk about makeup, but more I'm talking about skin today and how to take care of your skin, but start swapping out your um, makeup. Young Living has amazing makeup. Um, I didn't bring it down here, but I'm so glad they have that as well. And perfumes, ditch your perfumes and start using essential oils. That's another great way to take care of your skin and also for your emotions. Let me see if I forgot anything as I shared this. I have so many testimonies of my skin. And like I said, I did not have any problems growing up with really much skin, but I'm noticing, I did the test that they did for me at beauty school, and it's amazing. I've been using the product for three years, and I couldn't believe at how well my skin is, and they said I didn't have much area of work except for one little part. Oh no, it's right here. And so I've been using, and they recommended the Sheer Lume. So I can't wait to do that picture again. But I'm gonna just share with you some of the th top ingredients that you should avoid. Um, in any of your products. And you go to the EWG and Google or harmful products um, in makeup or in skincare products, you'll learn about them. But I'm just gonna, um, just these are the top 10 offenders. You've got lead, you've got formaldehyde, parabens, which are preservatives that are in most of our makeup, skincare, all of that. The phylates, which are found a lot of it in nail polish. Um, you have, they're in shower curtains as well. Um, but it's a hormone disruptor, infertil causes infertility. You have nitrosamines. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. But a lot of it's in our mascaras, our lotions, our concealers, our baby shampoos. These are linked to cancer. You have the BHA and BHT, which is used to moisturize in things, but it's also, what is it doing? It may cause cancer and endocrine disruptors. Again, okay? You have the DEA ingredients that are used in a lot of creams and the foaming products. I know we love things to foam, you guys. Um, but those are linked to cancer now. You have petroleum. So I used to use Vaseline all the time, you guys. Petroleum is used in some of the hair products to help with shine. We've got it in our lipsticks, our lip balms, all the moisturizers, and these cause cancer. They're doing all this research. It's all researched, you guys. You have the sodium lauryl sulfate, which is about in every laundry soap. Like I said, night, all, most of our um, body is skin, right? So the laundry soap, um, that sodium lauryl um, may cause cancer. Again, can you see the pattern? May cause cancer, may cause cancer. Do you see over the past 40 years how many more people have cancer at a younger age? And guess what? 25% of all of our skin issues or all of our, um, all of our problems and diseases are about 25% genetic, okay? Not very high. Most of it is our environmental. So to be careful about, I just challenge you to just make the switch, just slowly make the switch of just one thing that I've talked about tonight that you can um, ditch and switch. Um, I wanted to talk about, because for me, I didn't really understand what a toner was, and I told you guys about the toner. Um, a lot of things about wrinkling. I said sugar. Sugar is one of the number one thing that causes wrinkles. Um, and sun. But a lot of, oh yeah, I said the sun. I just want to make sure I'm touching on everything that I prepared for tonight. Um, your sunscreen, they even talk about, even in Michigan with gray weather, you need um, sunscreening. You need to love on your skin. You guys should share in the comments what's your favorite product for your skin um, with Young Living. But there's other things that cause poor skin. I talked about the food, but uh, things that will help your skin is exercise 30 minutes a day, get enough water, your body needs water, when you're struggling with sleep and you're not sleeping right, that affects your skin. Um, you have, what you eat is gonna affect your skin, your digestive system, so like I said, work on your healthy gut and get those supplements in. 
Um, vitamins and minerals, if you lack in that, then that's gonna affect your whole skin area. So look at yourself, like, do I have skin problems? I know we're all, I mean, every day we're aging, but also, they're talking about the way you talk about yourself. You say, oh my gosh, I'm getting so old. You're telling your body to do that. Don't do that. Your body's beautiful and it's getting younger every day. That's what I've been telling my body. It's getting younger every day. So um, with that, I just challenge you to take care of your body. Uh, did I? Oh, I forgot. The last thing I was gonna tell you is this, um, you want to exfoliate your skin, but only twice a week. I actually just do it once a week, but no more than that. It helps take, it takes like 25 days, 25 to 30 days for your skin to kind of regenerate, but you wanna get off the dead stuff. So just use it upward, fight against gravity. I keep this in the shower. It's the mint one, it's amazing. Um, but this satin facial scrub, I just do it once a week, but they say no more than two times a week. So let's review. You need to cleanse your face every day, okay? You choose a cleanser. There's tons of them with Young Living. Next, you're gonna exfoliate twice a week. Then you're gonna tone your face every day. You're gonna restore your face, your skin every single day with your the serum, which I love the art renewal serum. You wanna moisturize every day because when you have the serum on, it helps the moisturizer, um, helps with a barrier. And then, um, I don't do it very often, I'll be honest. I bought the mask, those, you know, the little fun mask things to do it once a month. I typically use like Wolfberry eye cream or um, rose ointment or some kind of deep moisturizer just about once a month to help with your refining of your face. So um, I was gonna tell you one of my favorite things to take off my makeup, do not go to bed with makeup, that's what they say, except for me, I'm like, ah, eh, it's Young Living, it's good stuff. <laughs> but. You're using, if you're, um, they say to remove your makeup, I love coconut oil, or my newest favorite is the Mira um, Luminous Cleansing Oil. It's so awesome, you guys. To take your makeup off every single day, clean it. I wear makeup probably twice a week. I'm not a huge like makeup person. I mean, I do, I have a little bit on. Um, but just so you know, they say when you leave your makeup on, and I know this is not Young Living's, but the toxic stuff, you age seven days. So you, just by keeping it on. So if you're using other makeup and you haven't made the switch yet, you're aging seven more days by keeping your makeup on. That's bad because I used to keep my makeup on all the time. <laughs> um, so remember that. And a lot of times when you're cleansing your face, this will help your pH in your skin. So, and you just have to ask yourself, if you need help, you can comment in the section like, hey, what do I do for oily skin? Like what moisturizer is best for me? Cause all of them have different ways. Um, and I have a couple memes that I'll share with you at the very end of how you can take care of your skin. Um, and just take care of it. You're all beautiful. You're all designed by an amazing creator and just take care of it. Take care of the gift that you've been given and um, just comment below what your favorite products are and have a great evening.